did this morning? In the hospital. Why are you going to the hospital, Betty? So they can make me taller. Well, they're gonna run tests, right? Yeah. You ready? shoes off and then so 48.7 like 48 and a half pounds and 22.1 what do you think so far fun. <laughs> you think this is fun awesome we just bring you to the hospital instead of Disneyland what do you got, <laughs> what do you got on your arm there Good, see, it's just like lotion. And then I'm gonna put this band-aid over it because that's gonna keep the cream in place because we're gonna leave it on there for like a half an hour. So it needs to stay in place for a half an hour. And you are cold. Pull that down. Okay, so let's look at this one. So hopefully we only have to use one site, but I like to be prepared. So we'll have two sites cream just in case we need a backup. Okay, so my job is to make sure I understand what you know and to also make sure that you understand everything that's going to happen today because I don't like surprises, okay? I want you to feel very well prepared and then we'll come up with a game plan because did they tell you that today's visit is going to be kind of long? Yeah, all right, so you're going to be hanging out with us for a good portion of the day. Um, so basically, what it's called is a growth hormone stim test is that they're going to give you some medicine and they want to see how your body reacts to it, okay? Okay. So the reason that you get the IV is because they need to take some different blood samples today. So they'll test you before, when you first get here, and then they're gonna give you that medicine, and then they'll test you at different times during the day to see how that medicine is reacting within your body, okay? okay. So rather than doing a bunch of different pokes, they do the one IV, because what it is is, and I know you've never had an IV, it's like, a little tube, okay? It's like a tiny little straw, is how I explain it. And, do you know where your veins are? Yeah. So, let's see if we have some good ones. Yeah, you've got some up in your arm, and you even have some right here, right? Mm -hmm. So they'll find a really good vein, and the IV works kind of like a little straw, kind of like a little hose. So it plugs in, it's one quick poke, just kind of like if you were getting your blood drunk somewhere, but then it stays so that all the samples that they do today can come out through the same IV. So rather than you getting poked a couple different times, it's just the one quick poke and then they can take the samples out of this the whole day. Okay. Okay, so it should be easier for you. It shouldn't hurt. Nope, it should be a very small pinch. Okay. okay. The reason that it should be only just a tiny small pinch is because here we use a special numbing cream called lidocaine. All right. Not everywhere has that for pokes, but because you are here for such a long time, um, it's one of the tricks we have up our sleeve. So we get to put that special lidocaine on there, let it get really numb, and then you get the IV in, okay? Oh, perfect. So it should be just like a really small pinch. Um, and then as soon as it's where it goes, most people don't know that, even my adult patients don't know that, but once the IV's in, the needle part, the poke part, comes out. So the only part that's actually gonna stay under your skin is this little bendy straw portion. All right, they'll just hold it in there with some tape. And then once you're all done today, it'll just slide right out once you take the tape off. Okay, so after the IV, your job is really just to hang out. And then Lori or one of the other nurses, probably Jennifer, will just come and take all those lab samples out of that IV tube so it shouldn't hurt or anything. Okay. So what kinds of things do you like to do at home? I like to ride motorcycles. Yeah, well, we don't have motorcycles here. So what other things do you like to do? Do you like to watch movies at all? Do you like to play games like on an iPad? Or video games? 
Okay, perfect. I see you brought one already. Mm -hmm. We have our own too. So in case that you want to try a different one, we also have the PlayStation set up in here. So there's games preloaded on there, but we also have a bunch of movies to choose from both on the PlayStation, but we also have DVD players and we have a movie list that is like 50 or 60 movies long. Okay, um, to keep you busy. Some people like to do like art or like to just like mess around with Legos, all kinds of different things. We have a bunch of different things here um, that you can choose from. So it's really your choice if you want to do. Some people like to keep busy because it keeps their mind off of things. And then some people are just like, I just want to relax. When you have gotten new totes in the past or anything like that, do you like to know what's happening or do you like them to just kind of tell you once it's all over? I don't know, they, when I got my blood drawn, they told me what was going to happen, so I know what was going to happen. Mm -hmm. But then when they were doing it, did they give you like a one, two, three countdown, or did you no. just kind of go for it? I think they just woke up. Like yeah. Do you think you'd like them to let you know, like, okay, one, two, three, so you can be ready for it, or, yeah. yeah? And then some people like to squeeze something with the other hand, so we have a couple different, like, squishy stress ball options. Do you want something like that? Yeah. Yeah, okay, perfect. Um, and then the only thing I'm gonna ask you when they're placing the IV that's a little bit different than when they do a blood draw mm -hmm. is because they need those veins to be nice and open, mm -hmm. most people, as soon as they know that a poke is coming, they hold their breath. They go, because <gasps> they have to hold still, right? So they hold their breath. So the only thing I'm gonna remind you, because I think you're old enough to remember, is that once they're cleaning it and they're ready to do the IV, I just need you to take some really big, slow, deep breaths Okay. where you can feel your chest filling up with air and then just blow it out slowly because what that does is it tricks your body into thinking that you're super relaxed even if you feel a little bit nervous but also these veins open up really big and wide when you do that and so then the IV part will be a lot easier for you because it'll slide in faster. <laughs> Feel, feel better or worse? It feels a lot better. Oh, a lot okay. better. Good. How do you feel about your IV? It's much better than getting blood drawn. Really? I'm so glad it didn't hurt at all. You took it much better than I've ever taken it. Proud of you. And I guess that's just another plug for lidocaine. Lidocaine is amazing.
Mm. What's going on, buddy? Tired. Do you know what the drug is they just gave you? No. That makes you sleepy. Mm. And how's your arm feeling where the... It's starting to hurt. It is. Maybe because the lidocaine's wearing off. Probably. Well, how much time do you have left? I don't know, but it ends at 11.35. And what time is it now? It's you can't read on that clock, am it? 10.48. It's a different clock. 10.48. It makes me concerned that you can't read that clock. Well, I read different clocks at school, and I get so used to the other ones, it makes me confused on this one. Okay. So we only have like 40 minutes left. Yay. Bed, and I got peanut butter. All right, Emmett, so you're done. Mm -hmm. Now you finally get to eat. You haven't eaten in. Since four yesterday. So that is 16. Do you want to eat both of these? It's almost 20 hours that you haven't eaten for. Both of them? Yeah, Do you want me to open them? Wait, I'll just open this one and down the car. Sweet boy. I love those ones. Mm. Do anything ever tasted so good before? Probably the longest time you're like, in your life that you've gone without food. These are the best crackers I've ever had in my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good things come in small packages, you know. Mm -hmm. Ask them all about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to go to lunch? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Never more. Never more. Never more. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, so when I had to get my um my blood pulled the first time, it hurt a lot. But this time when they, it did not hurt at all. It's not nothing. You didn't mind the IV. What? You didn't mind the IV? No. The hospital did a great job? Yeah. Lori was a very nice nurse. Yes, she was. I'm glad your first hospital experience went so well. Yay.